Okay, so what we're going to do here is write a random program that's going to choose six random lottery numbers and add them to an array. Now a random lottery number is between 1 and 59. So we'll just put that as a comment line there. So the first thing we're going to need to do is, now there's a few ways to do this. We're going to use the randint function, so we could do um, import random. And that will then bring in all the random number functions. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to say that my new number, my new lottery number, is a function called random dot randint. This uses a random integer, and we want it between one, comma, fifty nine. So what this means is this will choose a random number between one and fifty nine. Then we're going to have to add it to our array. So dot append and we're appending this thing called new number. And then just to check what's going on, we're going to print off this array called lottery numbers. At the minute it'll only have one number in it and that's fine. So at the minute it's chosen number 56. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make it choose six random numbers. So choose six random numbers. So what we're going to say is for numbers in range 6 colon and what we're going to do is just tab all that over except we're going to take that out and that out so we're only going to display the lottery numbers once. And then you'll see we've got 36, 15, 20, 30, 28 and 4. Just to make it a bit more user friendly we could sort them out. and this is above that 5 but it just makes life a little bit easier if we do lottery numbers dot sort and if we just run that program again we'll see that it sorts them into ascending order so that is using the rand the random function or the rand int function specifically in python to choose a random number between a low limit which in our case was 1 and a high limit which was 59 so this time we're going to use the random integer function again and this time, what it's going to do is pick out a random name out of this list. Now, there are Python-specific functions that could do this for us, but we're going to use a fairly generic approach to this, which is we're going to choose a random number between 0 and the biggest number here, which would be 3, because you've got to remember that an, L, an array starts indexing from 0. So we're going to find the size of the array. We're going to take one away from that. And we're going to display the name that's at that position in the array. So first of all, we are just going to um, import the random library again. And what we're going to say is that the winner equals random.randint. And we're going to say between 0. And rather than saying 3, we're going to say between the length of the array called names. Now just before I go and test that program, I'm going to print what this number is. Just so I can test this a little bit better. So if I run that program, it's picked out three. So if I just move that window over a tiny bit. So I'm just going to keep on running this program a few times just to see the kind of numbers that it's giving me out. You see that I've got three twice, now I've got a two, and this time I've got a zero. So that seems to be working okay. So what I want to do is I want to print. So for example, when it says three, I want it to print Stacy. When it says two, I want it to print Susan. And when it says zero, I want it to print Mark. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to print from the names array, I effectively wanted to print names zero or one or two or three. So instead of using zero though, I'm going to print the, whatever is at the position that we have found and stored in this variable called winner. Now just so I can text, test if this is working, I'm going to put in an extra print line that says testing only winner equals and I'm just going to display which position has won effectively. Just so that when I get my list down here, 
will make some sense. So if I just make this a little bit more friendly and say the winner is I'm closing my speech marks and it's a string so we don't we don't need to use concat full concatenation. And if we just run this program, so what it says testing only the winner is zero, so I would expect the winner to be Mark. So that's an example of using a random number function to pick a random winner or a random position element out of an array.